In this video, I'll be showing you how to use a single edge transceiver and one or two edge belt packs to perform standalone mode of operation. This mode can be used for an initial site survey or to demo the system. ClearCom recommends that the transceivers be mounted vertically and at least 8 to 20 feet above the floor and 2 feet below the ceiling. The external antennas should be at the 12 o'clock and 3 o'clock positions. To place the transceiver into standalone mode, press and hold the mode button and power on the transceiver. When the status LEDs turn yellow, release the mode button. The transceiver can take up to 5 minutes to boot in standalone mode. The transceiver will be ready for use when LED 1 is steady and LED 2 is flashing yellow. To register the belt packs to the transceiver, power on the belt pack. Once the belt pack comes on, the transceiver's ID will be displayed with register next to it. Press the D button to select. Then the belt pack will be registered to the transceiver in standalone mode of operation. Up to two belt packs can be registered, allowing users to perform a walk test to determine the coverage area of the transceiver. During the walk test, belt packs will share a common audio channel and have a hot mic. By default, the transceiver will use channels 132 and 140. To find the available channels in the RF space, please use the channel scan feature of the belt pack. To perform a channel scan, please see the link in the description below. To change the channels, press and hold the plus or minus volume buttons on the top of the pack. Then using the volume knobs on the side, scroll to system, press D to select. Then scroll to standalone, Press D to select. Once the channels and IP address are displayed, scroll to the first channel. Press D to select, and then you'll be able to change the channels of the transceiver. For more helpful tips, visit clearcom.com, select support, then solution finder.